Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I bring you breaking news on the final chapter of Demon Slayer Kometsu no Yaiba, chapter 205. Now, so after reading this final chapter of Kometsu no Yaiba, it doesn't seem as though Shonen Jump has any plans to continue Demon Slayer down the road. Which is actually surprising me considering how much of a cash cow Kometsu no Yaiba is, but I can only assume that if the mangaka doesn't want it to continue, then she has the right to say no, I want the series to stop here, I'll see y'all with my next series that I come up with. And that may be a possibility depending on the contract that she signed. Regardless, in this chapter, it seems as though we're really getting a slice of life in a what are they doing now? situation and while we don't get an exact time frame of like when this chapter is being set in it's clear that's in current day tokyo i want to say it was tokyo yeah it's set in modern day tokyo and we're met with the ancestors or the reincarnations of all of the hashiras and tanjiro and zenetsu and nezuko and inosuke and things of that nature we see the kids of zenetsu or um the great grandkids of zenetsu should i say kanata and sumiko kamado ages 16 and 15 as they're getting ready to go to school in the morning we see yoshiteru and toka ages 17 and 18 who are clearly the descendants or the great grandchildren of zenetsu and nezuko and then we see nosuke's uh great descendants as well we see all the hashira's reincarnations and things of that nature and then we even see a uh, young lord ubi yashiki and it's actually clarified in this chapter that he is the oldest living Japanese person ever, which means he's seen all the past Hashiras going throughout all of their descendants. Now, they have knowledge of demons in the final chapter, so they know that they did exist. So it's not like, oh, it's been so long that the thought of demons is a myth and everyone's just oblivious to it. No, they know that they exist. They've just been at such a long-standing piece that there's really no reason to even focus on it anymore. Which is now leading me to believe that if they were to give us a spinoff of Kometsu no Yaiba, something in me is telling me that they're going to go the Baruto route. A, a generation where it's supposed to be at peace but random shit just happens to cause conflict down the road. That's the only thing that I can really see happening. It's not impossible for there still to be demons out there in the world. Well, why do I say that? Because we get a glimpse of what Yashiro has been doing since, what, 100, 200 years have passed? Since the final battle with Muzin. And he's become a famous painter, and the only thing that he paints is these breathtaking portraits of uh, Tameo. And so, that's how he's been spending all of his time. I don't believe we saw the cat... Yeah, we don't see the cat. It's actually kind of upsetting. I, I would have I liked to have seen the panel of him painting and the cat is right by his side because nobody else other than Uba Yashiki knows about Yashiro. That's it. It's kind of odd because, you know, he's portraying himself as this famous painter. And because now that he's in the spotlight, it's going to be hard when you're famous and you're not aging. So again, but it might be a thing where people know that he's a demon. Highly unlikely. But I had to put that on the table. Yeah, I don't see where this series is going after this, you guys. At least Naruto, before Baruto, gave us a plot point that they could expand upon in a spinoff series. And that plot point was the Otsutsuki clan. Okay, that's how Naruto ended. So it, it made sense when it came up in Baruto to be the major point. This series is just ending with a class photo and that's it. Modern day Tokyo, who really knows what's going to go down after this. But <sighs> this was a good run. I liked it. Um, Y'all know my feelings about how it ended, could have been sped up a little bit faster, and I think we would have had a masterpiece on our hand. I got nothing left to say, y'all. If you found my channel because of my manga breakdowns for Kometsu no Yaiba, thank y'all. If you are new, and if you stuck with me throughout all of the chapter reviews, go plus ultra and smash that subscribe button. It lets me know you rock with the content that I put out on this channel. And like always, keep it safe and rapid tight, and I'll see you again with a new series. Who knows, might be Black Clover, might be Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know what I'm going to pick up, but nonetheless, y'all enjoy your day and be safe.
Overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. Kill confirmed. 